Hello Gemini, how are you guys doing? Welcome into your weekly love tarot reading. We're going to be seeing this week your person's feelings and how they feel about you currently. I'm going to have a look at their energy, going to look at how they feel about you and even how they view you as well. So let's get that first card out which represents their energy. Going to go so much deeper in as well, get more clarifiers out, go deeper into all the things that they're feeling and, and how they view you as well. The extended reading is going to literally, because we're moving into that 2021 uh, stage right now we're going to look at how they feel about you and how they will view you moving in, like, like into 2021 like the beginning of 2021 how your guys relationship will evolve hopefully evolve and not devolve i'm just saying so let's get that card out there their energy spirit guides let's have a look and see i've been doing other readings this morning and my cards keep flying everywhere so let's see what goes on in your guys reading i'm hoping they don't fly everywhere i'm just saying so let's see hello Okay, what's going on here? Oh boy, okay, um, Gemini, <laughs> uh, this is the tower card, guys. It says re build so this tells me this is going to do with an ex-person sorry if this is not going to do with an ex-person this is a person that you might be with but there could be problems either it's somebody that you've just been with and there has been a breakup or this is an ex-person wanting to rebuild with you um because of a breakup that has already happened this is absolutely not a new person at all this is a person with history over here now i want to go deeper and see what exactly is going on here this can be an ex-person Person that wants to come back in and rebuild the tower with you because it's and there the cards start falling there you go there you go it's happening already yes without a doubt yes somebody's coming in if this is i feel like this is an ex person i gotta tell you i don't feel like this is a new person i know all of you guys are oh, the ex again and i'm like what must i do if the ex is coming back must i keep quiet and not tell you it comes up in the reading it's not me i mean i didn't write the tower card it just came out this is the thing they want to come back in um i don't even feel like this if it's a person that you're currently with they want to heal the situation they don't want the breakup to happen they've got the justice card that's come out here they feel like what they are doing is the right thing they feel like what they are doing is the right thing and, and they are right to come in and want to fix the situation if it's an ex if it is a person that you're currently with they feel like you guys must not break up. You guys must stay together. It's the right thing for you to stay together. And this is them either coming back in or, or currently offering you this cup of love. Ace of Cups. Yeah, they come. Boom, boom, boom. Hello, Gemini. Yeah, it's my cup of love. Will you take it? Look how the hand is just, just over there offering it to you. Rebuilding. Yeah. So if you're in this reading and you have no communication with your ex, um, whomever you're thinking about, by the way, um, this may not be the ex that you, 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 the first ex that comes to mind, Spirit Guide just said. The first person that popped up in your mind, it may not be that person. Go deeper. Okay, go a little bit deeper. There's something else a bit deeper. And then that one, the other one, that's the one. Okay, um, now the thing is, um, if this is a current person that you're with, they do not want this connection to break up at all. They want to keep it. They want to build the tower. They want to prevent the tower from falling. So they got the justice energy there, a major arcana. They, without a doubt, ex-person or current person, they believe you guys are like destined to be together. They don't want this breakup to happen at all. They are going to come in here, almost I feel with apologies even, with that cup overflowing, almost apologizing, wanting to fix everything with that, with that cup of love there. They do have emotion for you if you want to know. Now let's have a look and see how they feel about you. You are their world. That's how they feel. Oh my goodness. Embrace. You see they've got feelings for you. Uh, this is the world energy. Major arcana again. You've got three major arcanas with one ace of cups energy. That's pretty amazing. Um, in the world energy, they view you like their future. They view you as a dream that they have. In fact, their future that they see, they see you in that future. It's almost like if you're not there, the whole world will not be, their world will not be right. Look, they have feelings for you. They got love for you. There's roots there. That indicates to me, if this is an ex-person, when you guys broke up, the feelings didn't fade away. The feelings just got stronger. And if this is somebody that you're with, the feelings is just there. They just got feelings for you. So let's go in deeper and see 
what else comes up here wow it's quite amazing hey yeah look you got a nine of nine of pentacles energy that has come up here which tells me that they want to well deserve reward there's your justice kind of vibe coming through there it tells me that they want to build a very strong future with you so the thing is with the with the with the justice with the nine of pentacles it indicates that they want to have a very strong foundation. You can see the world card. The, the earth itself is one of the strongest foundations. They want to build on their dreams with you. The nine of pentacles also tells me that um, they want to support your dreams. They want you to support their dreams. You know, you're backing each other up. It almost gives me this feeling of the six of pentacles of give and take. Um, they want to take care of you with the nine of pentacles being there. They want to give you the world, literally. This person wants to give you the world. This is very beautiful energy. Wow. So much people wanting to get back in relationships and wanting to heal things and fix things at the end of this year. Wow. Even start new connections. So let's see what else comes up here with regards to the two of you guys. Let's go deeper into how they're feeling with regards to that world card there, spirit. Let's see which card is oh wow wow star here we go there we go yes there you go um wow this is really something interesting you got the star card which is like next to the world which is just like they this is what they want more than absolutely anything the star card indicates your what they dream about and it's like almost what they've always wanted from the time they were young and this is their dream come true and the world card is making the dream come true in reality, living the dream, not just thinking about it, but living it with the, you, the person that they want to have here. And I like this card coming out as well with regards to how they're feeling, because this indicates that they're feeling like they want to actually do the work that is needed to be done to make it happen. Because the Nine of Pentacles energy is a very strong energy. The next step of the Nine of Pentacles is going to be the Ten of Pentacles, which can even indicate that that's, that's when you guys get there, it will be strong, like they want it to be strong, like the Ten of Pentacles. Finally, Financially strong, commitment-wise, your guys' relationship strong and, and healthy as well. So let's go deeper into that nine of pentacles and see exactly what they what they see there with regards to moving forward. How they how they've got feeling spirit. Let's see what card. Let's see. Ooh, there's a card sticking out. Let's see what that is. Yes. There you go. Page of Pentacles, want to restart. Ace of Pentacles, okay, what's nice about your reading, Gemini? Um, it's not just them coming in with a cup of love and they want to be with you again because they miss you and all that, you know what I mean? Even in the tower, you can see the lady, she's, she's a male or female energy. They, it's, they're holding their heart. You know, it indicates, yes, they learned a lot when they were gone from you. They missed you. And also that they've got feelings for you. There's the Ace of Cups. But it's not just feelings. Yay! It's not just feelings. There is also the need to have security here. With the Page of Pentacles and the Nine of Pentacles energy, there is a need to have security. There's a need for, yay, can I say it again, commitment. And that is a very good thing to have. There is so many people going into relationships these days. I mean, even if it's not marriage, but just be in a relationship where you are committed to a person and you're with that person and you're building a life with each other and you going somewhere you're not just standing still and playing around you know they not they don't want to do that now if they did in the past not anymore let's see how they view you Ooh, how they view you oh this person may have cheated on you i'm just saying sadness and isolation they hurt you this person hurt you okay Oh boy, and they regret it. That's it. That's a thing of regret what they have done. They regret. That's why they want to come in. So they're not coming in like I'm sorry. Will you take me back? They're coming. In, I'm so sorry. I'll be committed to you now. And um, they may have left you for another person or even cheated on you for some of you guys not for all of you you must feel if you know your person hasn't done that then it's not your part of the reading it's a general reading so i'm picking up for a lot of different people but they know the breakup here or even if you guys are in a connection with them they know the situation that's been happening in the relationship has really hurt you you've pulled back your energy from them you may they made you sad and then when they made you sad you kind of like detached from them completely they know that that's why they're coming in like this wow let's see what else comes in and you walked away from them look three three this could have happened even three months ago um it's good if you guys are broken up it can be three months um i don't know i doubt it can be longer than that three years maybe for some of you quite long because i felt like it could be somebody that you don't expect um they you walked away you walked away they hurt you 
you pulled back your energy, you took the lead and you left. The three of wands usually indicates in the original Rider White, it's the card where the person standing with two wands behind their back and they're holding one wand, indicating that they walked away. You didn't remain in a place that was hurting you, that was causing you sadness. You wanted to be happy and you walked away from the situation. They know that about you. This is 100% an ex-person or a current person that you're with that this is like on the brink of a breakup kind of vibe. So let's see, yeah, because of a fight that happened. Because of conflict. The Five of Swords caused this energy. Um, conflict, um, unhappiness, being unable, even a fight that could have happened in this card as well. Because this is a Three of Swords energy. There is three people. I am just saying. Somebody off there in the background. Fights happened. Somebody left. Um, that's without a doubt what's going on here. Let's go deeper into this. Take the lead. With the Three of Wands energy. Yeah, you just left. Full card. Reverse position. Wow, very straightforward reading. You left. You were like, uh-uh. No, I'm not doing this. I'm walking away from a, something that has hurt me. Somebody maybe that has betrayed me. I'm taking the lead. Full card. Just going. You did it very impulsively as well. It's not like you just went, oh, okay, I'll think about this. No, you did this very, very impulsively. You just walked away from the situation and you were like, I'm not going to stay somewhere where somebody hurts me. But this person is now coming back in here guys so let's move on to this monology deck and see now from the spirit guides kind of perspective here of what's going on let's have a look if we can see deeper into the situation that is unfolding here wow you got somebody coming back in or somebody wanting to fix things with you um let's see let's get a card out with regards to how they feel about you yeah, their feelings are not, this is gaining momentum, whoa, waxing moon, energy is gaining momentum, so what you need to know, if this, let's start with, the, if you're with this person, because I feel like both scenarios are coming through, if you are with them, let's put it this side, I think the table is big enough, yes, if you are with them, um, they're going to want to get this back on track again. This is them really putting in the energy and the work to try to fix you guys going back onto the right track. They're going to be making a lot more effort to fix the situation. Um, they want to fix it. They're trying to get you guys back to this energy of the world and they now want to do the right thing with security there. If this is an ex-person, if they haven't contacted you yet, they're going to because the energy is gaining momentum. That is waxing moon, which means that it's moving to a point of full moon energy. And as it moves in, they're going to reach out. I'm going to ask for you guys just for, for timing. When would they reach out to you? How long are we going to wait for them to actually make a move and reach out? Let's see what comes up here. Um, I'm going to tell you about a month or two. A month or two you got a page of cups that has just come up here um it's about a month or two months to the longest january february they will reach out to you i know how to work my timing within the cards it's not now in december i think they're still thinking about this they're still going to figure out how to do this it could be at the end of january into february kind of energy interesting and it's a page of cups what more must we say they will reach out at that time so now let's have a look and see what else does monology have to say look at the bigger picture just had a full just had a full moon lunar eclipse if i release this on the 15th it's going to be yesterday on the 14th in sagittarius you got to look at the bigger picture one thing's for sure um, they are definitely having a wake-up call. They are. They have looked at the bigger picture. Things were revealed where they were in the dark before because it was a lunar eclipse yesterday. I've got to refer to that. Um, it went. It was like in daytime, got dark. So they didn't see the truth. They were in the dark. And then something happened and it's so interesting because there's like the sun energy here with the with the earth and it looks like almost like an eclipse sort of situation happening even there and it's like when that eclipse moved away it could even be the eclipse i'm just telling you that makes them have a wake-up call on at exactly the time of this reading this is what's making them think about you this is what's making them think about coming back it's like an awakening moment because it's showing sagittarius energy this is a very um, straight energy because of the bone arrow energy. It makes you it makes you know that they have learned their lessons here, and now they want to come in doing the right thing. They are definitely looking at the bigger picture. Also, advising you to look at the bigger picture that this person is coming in. If this is a person that you're with, this is just them going, "Whoa, wake up." 
call, wake up call. I'm standing here literally on the brink of a breakup. They don't want that. They try, they're aiming that bow and arrow. They want to, they want to get to a place. The bigger picture for them, if it's a person that you're with, is the world card. It is the future and they want to aim at that future. They're trying to redirect you guys back onto the right path again. So let's see now how they, how Spirit Guides is going to advise you here with the Sacred Traveler moving forward. Let's see what cards come up here. Advise again a card falls. Really, today is just another day. Am I clumsy or what? Wow, I love this card. Finding Sanctuary open to your spiritual source. So they are asking you to kind of like, um, first of all, you need to have a moment of peace, I'm just saying. Um, open up to, it's almost like they're saying work on some kind of spiritual aspect of yourself, especially over the Christmas season now. Um, find some peace as well. Get yourself some peace, get yourself some quiet. If this is a person that you haven't had contact with yet, um, one thing I know with finding sanctuary, when you open up to spiritual source, one of the first stages of opening up to anything spiritual is this is the element of forgiveness for yourself and for others. And um, if you are with this person as well, it's also the element of forgiveness that wants to come through there. Another thing, I feel like you need just a little bit of a break. I feel like you need a little bit of a space between um, from this person maybe for a while just to work on a bit of healing they mustn't push and push and push they must give you a chance just to to recover even if you're still with them can we not just get into it right now kind of vibe can we just breathe that's the energy and that's what spirit guide is kind of like telling you just make some quiet time for yourself it's almost like go up in your little tower there shut the door and you know kind of have that quiet time for yourself there i think to clear your energy and to heal a little bit as well that's what happens when you go into the tower you actually heal and that's when you really find out you you begin that spiritual journey as well of healing so let's have a look and see there you go release you see once you do this once you find sanctuary you kind of like start the spiritual journey then you release control so spirit guide is literally saying see how this unfolds see how everything unfolds don't try to control anything release control surrender to the journey it is the, this is the start this is where you learn things and this is when you start putting it into practice if you and this person are meant to be together you are going to be together no matter what it will be no matter what. What is meant for us will always be for us. And that means, by the way, that we don't really have to put a huge amount of effort. We put the effort that is needed. But when something is meant to come into our lives, it will come into our lives no matter what happens. When you're meant to have a baby, you're going to have a baby. There is no other way around it. Um, you do put the effort in, you do do the things you need you to do, but you don't go beyond and beyond that point. Um, the, unless it's a baby and you want to have a baby, you've got to go through all those kind of things, you're going to go beyond the point. But if it's a relationship, a relationship must come together. It must come together. You must do what you need to do and they must do what they need to do and it will be moving forward together kind of energy. Um, I think it's honestly a feeling of let go of the energy let go this is one of the ways that you manifest as well release the energy and allow the universe just to take you where you are meant to move to this is a very spiritual thing to do by the way to kind of like trust the unfolding of how things are going to be in the future um it's one of the most empowering things you can ever ever do and when you do that you literally end up exactly where you are meant to be. So I love the way that you took the lead over here and you left a situation. And now they're asking you just to not do anything. For this time, this special, specific time frame now, I feel like just see how things unfold. Allow the universe to bring in what it's going to bring in. Allow this person to show you. In fact, with the, with the release control energy, it literally shows me that it's not you that must rebuild. It is them that must make the effort. It is them. That, most of the effort is on their side anyway. You've got... The, the, the page of cups, you got the ace of cups, you got the page of pentacle, you got the well-deserved reward, you got all of the energy in their energy. So they cause this heartache and pain. They have to be the one that fixes it. And you sit back and you watch the show unfold, you know what I mean? And you see what their actions are. You don't take action, they must be the one taking action. You sit back and you find your, your 
your um your sanctuary over there you open to your spiritual source you release control to them and they will show you exactly what it is and who it is that they are that's the most empowering thing as well to actually leave people to do whatever they want to do then you'll see their true selves and this is what spirit wants you to do let them surprise you i'm really curious i actually feel like a good vibe coming through i feel like because of all the cards that have shown you they really want to repair this thing it depends what you want to do but i think it more than anything it depends what they show you so there we go Gemini if you want to check out what is actually going to occur in the future yeah because this is one of the readings I'm really itching to do now um to see what 2021 is going to bring for the two of you with regards to what they're going to be doing and how you're going to be feeling moving on you can check it out there's a link in the comments below and in the description box thank you guys so much for watching have an amazing Christmas if I don't see you again sending light and love bye